born to House Tully of Riverrun. Brynden Tully grew into a great warrior, scout, and commander whose reputation made him known and respected throughout the continent. In his youth, Brynden served as a squire for Lord Derry, and after earning his knighthood, journeyed to the Stepstones in 260 AC, where he fought alongside his brother Hoster Tully in the War of the Nine Penny Kings. Facing the combined forces of the Band of Nine and Golden Company, Brynden quickly became a battle-tested veteran, impressing everyone with his courage and skill. When Hoster Tully succeeded as Lord of Riverrun, he attempted to arrange a marriage for his younger brother to Bethany Redwine, and when that proved a failure, attempted with women from houses Bracken and Frey, only for Brynden to reject every potential match. This led to arguments and anger between the brothers, with Hoster naming Brynden the Black Goat of the family, to which he replied with a reference to the symbol of their house, insisting he was a blackfish, which he then took as a personal sigil. Although the relationship with his brother grew strained, he was beloved by Hoster's children, becoming close to Edmure, Catelyn, and Lysa Tully, and even looking out for Peter Baelish, the son of a minor noble family in the Vale, who was being fostered at River Run. When young Jaime Lannister traveled to the Riverlands as a potential candidate for betrothal to Lysa Tully, he spent the entire time ignoring her and focusing on the Blackfish, utterly fascinated by his war stories. During Robert's rebellion, Hoster Tully and the Riverlands sided against the Targaryens, marrying his daughter Catelyn to Eddard Stark, Lord of the North, and Lysa to Jon Arryn, Lord of the Vale. Unfortunately, his brother Brynden took this opportunity to leave Riverrun, joining his niece Lysa and her new husband to serve in the army of the Vale. Hoster saw this as a betrayal of their family and disowned the Blackfish, greatly widening the rift between them. Ever the valiant warrior, Brynden Tully served honorably during the war, and after their victory went to the Vale, where he rose to become Knight of the Gate, charged with the defense of the Bloody Gate. Brynden served in the Vale throughout King Robert's reign, but everything changed after the mysterious death of Jon Arryn, and an attempt was made on the life of Catelyn's son, Brandon Stark, leading to the arrest of Tyrion, youngest son of Tywin Lannister, Lord of the Westerlands. Believing Tyrion was responsible for the attack on her son, Catelyn placed him in custody after a chance encounter at the Inn of the Crossroads, and knowing Winterfell was too far, made their way to the Vale, where she informed Lysa Arryn, her son Lord Robert, and Brynden the Blackfish of all that occurred, including the escalation of tensions throughout the continent, and outbreak of fighting in the Riverlands. However, Lysa refused to send any troops to help the realm where she was raised, as she was secretly in league with Peter Baelish, working to destabilize the kingdom in the pursuit of power. The Blackfish, deeply disappointed in his niece, left the service of the Vale and accompanied Catelyn North to join the war effort against the Lannisters. After an apparent accident while hunting, King Robert Baratheon died, leaving his best friend and Hand of the King Lord Eddard Stark with the duty of securing the succession and stability of the realm. Unfortunately, the succession was far from secure, with Lord Stark soon arrested and executed, in large part because he learned that Queen Cersei had an affair with her brother, meaning Jaime Lannister was the true father of Joffrey, Tommen, and Myrcella Baratheon. Outraged by the death of their lord, the Northmen crowned his son Robb Stark as king and prepared for war. Recognizing the value of having a warrior like the Blackfish, Brynden Tully was brought into the War Council and given command of a hundred outriders he used to defeat Adam Marbrand in battle, thereby allowing his liege to safely cross the Green Fork River. Brynden then fought in the Battle of the Whispering Wood, led the vanguard in the Battle of the Camps, and at last reconciled with his brother Hoster as the old man laid on his deathbed. After fighting bravely with Rob in the Westerlands, Brynden's scouts found a perfect location for ambushing Tywin Lannister, however the plans were ruined when his nephew Edmure disobeyed orders and won the Battle of the Fords, driving back the enemy when they needed to continue forward. Following the death of his brother Hoster, the Blackfish was named Warden of the Southern Marches and charged with the defense of River Run, while Rob and his people journeyed north to attend the wedding of Edmure Tully and Rosalind Frey. However, he soon learned of the death of his king and niece who were betrayed by houses Frey and Bolton during a massacre which came to be known as the Red Wedding. An old man without support outside River Run, the Blackfish had no hope of victory, but remained as stubborn and determined as ever, refusing to surrender the castle, which he continued to hold in the name of Robb Stark, even as the Lannisters and Freys laid siege. Although he was willing to speak to Jaime Lannister, he outright refused to give up his family home, rejecting any offer to join the Night's Watch. 
attempting a new strategy. Jaime made the bold move of releasing his captive, Edmure Tully, the Lord of Riverrun, hoping to send him into the castle and order their surrender. To ensure Edmure's loyalty, Jaime threatened to kill his newborn child, and so the young lord capitulated, but even so remained unwilling to betray his uncle, waiting several days before ordering an end to their resistance, thereby giving the Blackfish time to swim under the gate and escape into the Red Fork River. Although River Run fell, Brynden the Blackfish Tully successfully evaded the Lannisters and other enemies of his house, leaving him to be named an outlaw by the Iron Throne.